Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you. So you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Hello, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess, 30 year veteran of the comic book industry and creator of First Man, the best, the most awesome superhero around. What, you don't know what it is? Check out the link below. Go back to campaign now. Get yourself a little first man action. You will not be disappointed. I am here today for another book look. This is Scott Robertson Design Sketch Collection Volume 2. Something a little different. Not comic book related. Not illustration related. Uh, a design book by designer Scott Robertson. He does great designs in regards to cars, vehicles, and things like that. I picked up this nice little book in San Diego a few years back and thought I'd share it with you. I'm a car buff, and I love seeing designs like this because uh, it's something out of my wheelhouse, and it's great for learning. Uh, he also has uh, designed different types of uh, sci-fi tech as well. This is super cool from Inktober 2015. Uh, that's the size of a person right there. Uh, this is just awesome. Uh, my mind just, uh, I don't know. I, I'm i more into doing figure work and things like that. So when I see people that do this stuff, this is their sole focus. I love it. Uh, introduction, after the completion of my books, How to Draw and How to Render at the end of 2014, I needed some time away from writing books. I think I have the, I think I have, I, actually, you know what? I don't have any of his drawing books. I have a book on drawing concept cars, but it's not by him. I will have to do a book look through that. Anyhow, um, this is one of those books I'll flip through to get the juices flowing in regards to uh, creativity. If I have to make something up, uh, looking at stuff like this gets my mind, the gears turning and working and, and gives me ideas. And I just like seeing stuff like this like this is just this looks like it's all freehand i don't even think he took a pencil first i think he did this all with ink a marker and then he just took some uh grayscale over it i could be wrong kick-ass looking motorcycle designs car designs every page is just filled with something different that is so cool that motorcycle and, you know, I would never, and I would never tell anybody to just flat out go, oh, it's great, I'm just going to swipe it the way it is. No, you don't do that. That's not cool. But if you see this and you go, oh, I like this whole shape, I can make a spaceship that has kind of a shape like that and, like, mix and match things, there's nothing wrong with that. That's just, you know, that's part of the game. But you don't swipe something dead nuts because that's not cool. But look at all, just, it all comes down to shape. Look at the shapes. They all have these unique, different shapes to them. Just the sketchbook of motorcycles. These are more finished. I love seeing these sketches, though. You see the wheels just kind of roughed in. And I have seen some of these guys where the way they'll, the way they'll actually work is... They'll take their marker, 
which is, you know, chisel point really fat and sketch in first, and then they'll take a fine point black pen to refine it. You can kind of see that here. You can kind of see it here too, where it looks like he sketched in the wheels, then maybe he took a black marker and just thought about the big shapes. And then after that, took his ink pen and ruler and tightened it up some. And then from that, you can see this more, uh, I'm trying to see if that is, yeah, this is definitely tighter. He took that, made it tighter and colored it up some, did some computer stuff to it. Looks great. Look at that car. Now we get in some cars. This is great on colored paper. Love this two point perspective. You got the one point right here, swing, swing. The other point, I'm sure he, uh, he might have eyeballed it, but it goes way off to the right. This is funny because this looks like a hot rod tractor. This looks like a tractor. If it had knobby tires, uh, this looks like a hot rod type tractor. It's like some dude on the farm was like, I'm getting my farm work done. Fast. Cartoony stuff here. See, I like this car. I think that's awesome compared to some of the other ones. This is really cool as well. Just beautiful design stuff. And this is volume two. I should probably try and track down volume one. Great, very 1950s looking car with some modern accessories on it. And this is kind of it. You know, he probably looked at some of the cars from the 50s and said, well, what if I take that and add X, Y, and Z to it to come up with this? Beautiful rendering done, I assume, probably in Photoshop. Whew, look at that. It's the minivan of the future. Future, future, future. Look at that. Come on now. Why don't we have a minivan driving around like that? If they have minivans that look like that, I could probably get behind uh, owning one. This almost looks like something Elon Musk would design for Tesla. I love this color stuff. It's just gorgeous. I wouldn't be surprised if he took, I could be wrong, and I don't know, obviously, for sure, but he might have taken this into Photoshop. And obviously, when you color in Photoshop, you, you, you know, you use layers. So he takes this into Photoshop, puts layers over top of it, and does the coloring and tightening up of these individual pieces and such. Because there's like this mark right here with the marker, and it's here. So some of the stuff is still here. So I bet he took this and made it into that in Photoshop. How freaking cool is that? See, he started with the marker first and then refined it with the fine point pen. Just pages of great motorcycle designs. Looks like they're all based on the same wheel base you know, the width of the wheels as well. I think this is like a 100-page book. Yeah, so this definitely looks like he used his marker first, his chisel point gray, figured out the perspective, just winged it in, started doing some sketching with his big fat marker, and then from there, he's like, all right, let me get my thin point, uh, black marker out and tighten things up.
Now we even have space suits. The dude's like, you know what? Enough with the cars. I'm doing some space suits. Minivan of the future. And uh, if you need to get somewhere fast in your minivan. Back to the beautiful cars. Now we got some spaceships. I love this exterior shot. You're like, hey, he's a one-trick pony. He can only do vehicles. I think not. Look at this. Talk about doing landscapes. Got some great spaceships here. I should look at that how to draw book. I know I used to have it on my wish list. Um, and never got it because I have so many books. But God, I love books. Some more full renderings he's done. Look, a flatbed of the future. Throw a car on the back of that. I mean, I am going to go out on a limb and say he... Oh, no, this is different from this. I was going to say, this looks like he took this and did this, but nope, this is a different design aspect. And then some more quick doodles. I mean, these are just quick doodles that he did. Look, here's one that's kind of based on an animal and stuff. And he does. He has a book on how to render. So if you're curious how he does the color rendering and stuff, uh, there's a book on it. So there you go. He has a YouTube channel, a Gumroad store. Here's the books, how to draw, how to render. And there's the sketch collection, volume one. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I own this book, Ink Works. I will be going through that book as well with you guys at some point. The Line Art Challenge. I wonder what that is. I'll have to look. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this book look of Scott Robertson Design. I'm your host, with the most, Andy Smith, 30-year veteran of the comic book field. Having worked for almost every publisher, now I'm doing my own thing. First Man, superheroes, the way they should be. Go check it out. Link in the description below. I'm constantly working on it. Thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you for another book look later. Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.